Hi, welcome to this week's edition of Abide TV. And in this week's episode, I want to talk about a good old fashioned concept of time. Not a lot of us have all that we want. I mean, think about it. How many of us can say that there is a time during the week when we are absolutely positively bored? Now, we know that as Christians, there's a lot of things that we should do with our time. At the top of that list, though, is spending time with God every day in his word, in prayer, in worship. But the problem is we have so many other demands on our time that we step back and often find ourselves at a shortage of time to spend with the Lord. So what are we to do about that? Well, my encouragement to you this week is to take a simple practice that you probably do in everything else in life. My guess is if you're married that you probably set up a time where you focus on your spouse. Maybe it's a date or a time every day that you know this is our time to talk and to debrief and to talk about our day and what's going on. If you are on an exercise program in any way, shape, or form, you probably have a routine. You have a set time when you go to the gym or a set time when you take a walk or a set time where you do your exercises. I would encourage you to do the same thing in your walk with Christ, to set aside a time every day that you know at this time every day you meet with God and nothing else gets in the way of that. Now, when it comes to your exercise, if somebody says, hey, do you want to do this at such and such a time? You say, oh, I'm sorry, that's when I exercise. Or if they say, hey, do you want to get together at this time? You say, oh, that's time with my spouse or that's time with my kids. But how many of us, when we're invited to do something, say, oh, I'm sorry, I can't. That's my time with God. A lot of times, that's the very time that we willingly forfeit. Rather than setting aside a time every day to say, this is my time with God every day, nothing gets in the way of that. Now, you say, well, is that supposed to be in the morning or in the afternoon or in the evening? Well, honestly, for me, I would say the time that's going to work best for you with your schedule. Now, maybe you're in a household with small children, and if you wake up at 5 o'clock, you're going to wake the whole household up. Find a different time. Find a time that works better for you, a time when you're uh, awake and alert and focused, and you can give that time to the Lord. Now, that may mean, however, that something is going to have to go. Now, none of us can magically create extra time to our day. So if we want to carve out time to meet with God, and all of our time is already occupied with something else, something is going to have to go. That may be a TV show. That may be a hobby. Who knows what it is? But if this is truly the most important relationship in life, is that reflective in the priority that we give it? That we are willing to schedule that time with God every day before anything else and eliminate other things as necessary. I would encourage you, if you haven't done so already, set up a time in your schedule when you know that every day at this time is your time with God and keep that appointment every day. Well, thanks for tuning in this week and Lord willing, we'll meet you back here next week with another episode of Abide TV. Until then, abide in Christ.